and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Bree, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can download and play Nintendo DS games on an Android phone using an emulator. So before I begin, I just want to explain what tools will be required in order for the process to work. So just to let me know, the following tools that you will need include a DS emulator of your choice, as well as a zip file extraction tool. So the DS emulator that I have downloaded on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is called Drastic. You can get this from the Google Play Store, however this particular app is not free and you will need to purchase it. There are also two zip file extraction tools that you can download, one of which is a pre-installed one that comes with your files app. So if you have something like my files, which I have on my phone, then usually the zip file extraction tool is included, or you can download the raw app, which is also on my phone. The raw app is free, but there are in-app purchases, however, in this case, the in-app purchases will not be required. Now, before I get to explaining the steps, I just want to mention that I am going to provide links in the description of this video to all of the tools I use, as well as the websites I normally use when downloading ROMs. So now that I've explained what tools you will need, I'm going to proceed with explaining the steps. If there are any instances where you do get stuck or you're unsure about something, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to reply as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's begin. So first off, you will need to make sure that you have your emulator as well as your zip file extraction tool downloaded or pre-installed should in case you do have a pre-installed one. Once those particular tools are downloaded, you will need to go into your internet browser to search for the game that you wish to play. The internet browser I'm using is Samsung Internet and just to let you guys know, before you download any ROMs, you'll need to make sure that you allow unknown sources. So once you are in your internet browser of choice, you'll need to go into your website where you can download your ROMs. One website I would recommend is WowRoms.com. This is the main site I use to download Nintendo DS ROMs, as well as additional ROMs for arcade games that I play on my Note 10 Plus using name for Droid. 0.139 U1. So once you are in wowroms.com, you will need to search for the game that you want to play. For example, if I wanted to play Cooking Mama, all I have to do is type it in the search bar, and then once I've typed it in and I pressed OK, I can find the game in the results. Do keep in mind that you may have different ROMs for different regions, so there could be a chance that you might accidentally download, say, a French ROM or an Italian one, for example, but as long as you are downloading a Nintendo DS ROM, this will work for the Drastic emulator. So once you have found the game that you want to download, you just have to click on the results and then all you have to do is download the game. So as you can see, there is a green button here which enables you to download the ROM which will be in a zip file. So you just press this button here and the download will start in a few seconds. Sometimes certain downloads for certain games can take a bit of time but this mostly depends on the file size. So once your file is downloaded, you are now free to open it so that way you can extract the ROM. Now, of course, I am going to download this ROM again just because I'm going to show you guys the two ways in which you can extract the file. So I'm just waiting for this second ROM to download. And now I'm going to get into the extraction process. 
So the first extraction process applies for those of you that have Android devices which come with a pre-installed zip file extractor. So if you have a Samsung or any other Android device that does have a pre-installed zip file extractor, what you have to do is go into My Files, Downloads, and then you open the zip file which contains the ROM. So once the zip file is opened, you can see that on the bottom right there is an option which says Extract. You just click on this and then there is a window that pops up which asks you if you want to extract the file and you can also rename the file as well. So all you have to do is press extract and then in the downloads folder you will have your ROM extracted and of course in the corresponding folder. So the second version of the extraction process involves the use of the free RAR app. So if you want to extract your ROM using this particular app, you just go into the app and then you will see a button here with an arrow and this button is located on the top right and as you can see there is a window that says extract files. So you click on this button but once you click you'll need to make sure you go into the downloads folder. So you need to find the ROM for the game that you wish to download slash extract sorry. So as you can see the folder is here and it's in zip format. So you click on this folder and then you click this button and the file will extract. So there are some options which ask you if you want to overwrite the file, if you want to skip existing files, display extracted files or change the destination path. You don't really need to do anything here so all you have to do is press OK and then a window will pop up to confirm that the extraction process is complete. So once the extraction process is complete, you will go into your downloads folder again and this time what you're going to do is move the actual ROM into a designated folder. Now you don't have to do this, but personally I like to place my ROMs in a folder that I've created in my internal storage. So I'm going to click on the ROM and I'm going to press the move button which is on the bottom left of the screen and then I'm going to go into my internal storage and then place the ROM in this folder that I've named DS ROMs. It's very easy to name folders as well so you have this little button here on the top right which has three dots which enables you to click on more options and then of course you do have the option to create a folder and you can do the same thing name it DS ROMs but again you don't have to do this I just choose to because it's easier to find my ROMs. So if you have created a designated folder for your ROMs you just need to click on that folder and then move the ROM here and then as you can see it will come up in the folder and there's a little purple dot here which indicates that a new file has been moved. So once the extraction process is done you will need to go into the drastic emulator and then press load new game. Because I have set the DS-ROM folder as my primary storage directory the Cooking Mama role does appear in my list of games. However, if you don't have this folder set as your primary scope storage directory, you just have to click on this black folder icon. And then on the top right, you will see this plus sign which says add game. Then you will have a window which says add scoped storage directory or open scoped storage file. So what you will need to do is click on add scoped storage directory and then of course choose the folder 
that has all of your ROMs for the Nintendo DS games that you want to play. And then once you set this folder as your primary storage directory, you can clearly see that all the games will come up like so. So now that I've downloaded Cooking Mama, I am going to just play the game and all I did was press start game and now I'm able to play using my phone. So now as you can see here I can fully play the Cooking Mama game using my S24 Ultra. Now the layout I am using is not exactly the default layout, this is a custom layout that I have edited because I do often play DS games that require the use of a stylus. So in place of the Nintendo DS or 3DS stylus, I use my S Pen. Now of course in the menu, which you can access by clicking this arrow in the middle, you do have the option to select your screen layout and edit your screens and virtual pad. So if you click edit screens and virtual pad, you can select your chosen layout for editing. So for example, if I wanted to select portrait, there's an additional menu which allows me to resize the screen, open tools once I select a specific screen that is, open an additional menu where I can edit the controller layout, background image, or even delete the game specific layout I've already set. And then when it comes to editing the layout, you can also save this layout for the game you're playing only or for all games. So the current custom layout I've edited, I pretty much use this for all my games because as I mentioned before, all the Nintendo DS games I've downloaded do require the use of a stylus. So that's why I have gotten rid of most of the buttons that would normally appear on the controller, with the exception of the main menu button as well as the left and right buttons. So now that this is all done, I am going to test the game just to see what it's like on my phone. So you can watch me do a little bit of gameplay. So I think I might want to do something a little simple. I think I'm just going to do sandwich actually. I'm probably going to delete this just because I do have the original Cooking Mama cartridge. So I have a Nintendo 3DS and I've replaced my original DS with that because I recently purchased a 3DS in December last year as a Christmas present for myself after getting paid from work and I bought Mini Topia as well as Tomodachi Life and this other game, Pilot Wings Resort, which I really love because it reminds me of Wii Sports Resort. Now, I was going to purchase Tomodachi Collection, but then I realised that the version that I found was only released in Japan and wouldn't have supported my 3DS because it was a Japanese cartridge, which is the problem. So that's why I use Tomodachi Collection on my phone. Although I do have a few other emulators so I have the Dolphin emulator downloaded on my S24 Ultra and I've downloaded Hell's Kitchen for the Wii so at some point I'm probably going to do a gameplay video on that and then I downloaded Citra because I want to see if I can try and get a hold of the Japanese or Korean editions of Komodachi Life because there are some regional differences in comparison to the European version, which is the version I have for my 3DS. And in the case of the Dolphin emulator, I wanted to see if I could get a hold of the Japanese ROM for Wii Party because there's this particular game I found on YouTube called Quick Draw, which is like a card game or something. So again, this is a region specific game, if that makes sense but I was curious about it, so I want to see if I can find the ROMs anywhere so I can try it out. So anyway, 
aside from my ramblings, which are completely off topic, I have finished making my sandwich using my phone as a test. I actually got 100 points on the original Cooking Mama cartridge that I've got, but again, this is just like a test just to show you guys how the gameplay looks on the phone. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. And as per mentioned, if you're stuck on anything or if you're unsure of anything, just leave a comment. And I do hope my explanation made as much sense as possible because to be honest, I'm still getting used to talking in YouTube videos because I am really shy and I get very nervous easily because I feel like I'm not good at explaining stuff, but I really tried my best. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and I just wanted to say bye!